Mirtazapine, Wikipedia article audio. Mirtazapine, sold under the brand name Remeron among others, is an atypical antidepressant which is used primarily in the treatment of depression. In addition to its antidepressant properties, mirtazapine has anxiolytic, sedative, antiemetic, and appetite stimulant effects and is sometimes used in the treatment of anxiety disorders, insomnia, nausea and vomiting, and to produce weight gain when desirable. It is taken by mouth. Medical Uses Approved and Off-Label Effectiveness and Tolerability Side Effects Discontinuation Overdose Interactions Pharmacology Pharmacodynamics Alpha-2 Adrenergic Receptor 5-HT2 and 5-HT3 receptors H1 receptor Pharmacokinetics History Society and Culture Generic Names Brand Names Chemistry Synthesis Research Veterinary Use the drug acts as an antagonist of certain adrenergic and serotonin receptors, and is also a strong antihistamine. It is sometimes described as a noradrenergic and specific serotonergic antidepressant, although the actual evidence in support of this label has been regarded as poor. Chemically, mirtazapine is a tetracyclic antidepressant, with four interconnected rings of atoms, and is a relative of the Tecami and Saran. Mirtazapine was developed by Organon International in the Netherlands and was introduced in the United States in 1996. Its patent expired in 2004, so generic versions are available. Mirtazapine's primary use is the treatment of major depressive disorder and other mood disorders. However, it has also been found useful in alleviating the following conditions and is sometimes prescribed off-label for their treatment. A 2011 Cochrane review that compared mirtazapine to other antidepressants, found that while it appears to have a faster onset in people for whom it works, it is about the same as other antidepressants at six weeks. A 2012 review focused on antidepressants and sleep found that in many people with sleep disorders caused by depression, mirtazapine reduces the time it takes to fall asleep and increases the quality of sleep, but that in some people it can disturb sleep, causing restless leg syndrome in 8-28% to of people, and in rare cases causes REM sleep behavior disorder. In 2010 NICE published a guideline for treating depression that included a review of antidepressants. It recommended generic SSRIs as first-line choices, as they are equally effective as other antidepressants and have a favorable risk-benefit ratio. With respect to mirtazapine, it found, there is no difference between mirtazapine and other antidepressants on any efficacy measure although in terms of achieving remission mirtazapine appears to have a statistical though not clinical advantage. In addition, mirtazapine has a statistical advantage over SSRIs in terms of reducing symptoms of depression, but the difference is not clinically important. However, there is strong evidence that patients taking mirtazapine are less likely to leave treatment early because of side effects although this is not the case for patients reporting side effects or leaving treatment early for any reason. In general, all antidepressants, including mirtazapine, require at least a week for their therapeutic benefits on depressive and anxious symptoms to become apparent. A 2011 Cochrane review found that compared with other antidepressants, 
it is more likely to cause weight gain and sleepiness, but it is less likely to cause tremor than tricyclic antidepressants, and less likely to cause nausea and sexual dysfunction than SSRIs. Very common adverse effects include constipation, dry mouth, sleepiness, increased appetite, and weight gain. Common adverse effects include weakness, confusion, dizziness, peripheral edema, and negative lab results like elevated transaminases, elevated serum triglycerides, and elevated total cholesterol. Mirtazapine is not considered to have a risk of many of the side effects often associated with other antidepressants like the SSRIs, and may actually improve certain ones when taken in conjunction with them. In general, some antidepressants, especially SSRIs, can paradoxically exacerbate some people's depression or anxiety or cause suicidal ideation. Despite its sedating action, mirtazapine is also believed to be capable of this, so in the United States and certain other countries, it carries a black box label warning of these potential effects. A case report published in 2000 noted an instance in which mirtazapine counteracted the action of clonidine, causing a dangerous rise in blood pressure. Mirtazapine and other antidepressants may cause a discontinuation syndrome upon cessation. A gradual and slow reduction in dose is recommended to minimize discontinuation symptoms. Effects of sudden cessation of treatment with mirtazapine may include depression, anxiety, panic attacks, vertigo, restlessness, irritability, decreased appetite, insomnia, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, flu-like symptoms such as allergies and pruritus, headaches, and sometimes hypomania or mania. Mirtazapine is considered to be relatively safe in the event of an overdose, although it is considered slightly more toxic in overdose than most of the SSRIs. Unlike the TGAS, mirtazapine showed no significant cardiovascular adverse effects at 7 to 22 times the maximum recommended dose. Case reports of overdose with as much as 30 to 50 times the standard dose described the drug as relatively non-toxic, compared to TGAS. Twelve reported fatalities have been attributed to mirtazapine overdose. The fatal toxicity index for mirtazapine is 3.1. This is similar to that observed with SSRIs. Concurrent use with inhibitors or inducers of the cytochrome P450 isoenzymes CYP1A2, CYP2D6, and slash or CYP3A4 can result in altered concentrations of mirtazapine, as these are the main enzymes responsible for its metabolism. As examples, floxidin and peroxidine, inhibitors of these enzymes, are known to modestly increase mirtazapine levels, while carbamazepine, an inducer, considerably decreases them. Liver and moderate renal impairment have been reported to decrease the oral clearance of mirtazapine by about 30%, severe renal impairment decreases it by 50%. According to information from the manufacturers, mirtazapine should not be started within two weeks of any monoamine oxidase inhibitor usage, likewise, MAUIs should not be administered within two weeks of discontinuing mirtazapine. Mirtazapine in combination with an SSRI, SNRI, or TCA as an augmentation strategy is considered to be relatively safe and is often employed therapeutically with the combination of venlafaxine and mirtazapine, sometimes referred to as California rocket fuel. Mirtazapine has antihistamine, alpha-2 blocker, and antiserotonergic activity. It is specifically a potent antagonist or inverse agonist of the alpha-2A, alpha-2B, and alpha-2C adrenergic receptors, 
the serotonin 5-HT2A, 5-HT2C and 5-HT3 receptors, and the histamine H1 receptor. Unlike many other antidepressants, it does not inhibit the reuptake of serotonin, norepinephrine, or dopamine, nor does it inhibit monoamine oxidase. Similarly, mirtazapine has weak or no activity as an anticholinergic or blocker of sodium or calcium channels, in contrast to most gas. In accordance, it has better tolerability and low toxicity in overdose. As an H1 receptor antagonist, mirtazapine is extremely potent, and is in fact the most potent of all the TGAS and TECAS. Antagonism of the H1 receptor is by far the strongest activity of mirtazapine, with the drug acting as a selective H1 receptor antagonist at low concentrations. They Enantiomer of mirtazapine is responsible for antagonism of the serotonin 5-HT2A and 5-HT2C receptors, while the enantiomer is responsible for antagonism of the 5-HT3 receptor. Both enantiomers are involved in antagonism of the H1 and alpha-2 adrenergic receptors, although the enantiomer is the stronger antihistamine. Although not clinically relevant, mirtazapine has been found to act as a partial agonist of the kappa opioid receptor at high concentrations. Antagonism of the alpha-2 adrenergic receptors, which function largely as inhibitory autoreceptors and heteroreceptors, enhances adrenergic and serotonergic neurotransmission, notably central 5-HT1A receptor-mediated transmission in the dorsal raphe nucleus and hippocampus, hence, mirtazapine's classification as a NASA. Indirect alpha-1 adrenoceptor-mediated enhancement of serotonin cell firing and direct blockade of inhibitory alpha-2 heteroreceptors located on serotonin terminals are held responsible for the increase in extracellular serotonin. Because of this, mirtazapine has been said to be a functional indirect agonist of the 5-HT1A receptor. Increased activation of the central 5-HT1A receptor is thought to be a major mediator of efficacy of most antidepressant drugs. Antagonism of the 5-HT2 subfamily of receptors and inverse agonism of the 5-HT2C receptor appears to be in part responsible for mirtazapine's efficacy in the treatment of depressive states. Mirtazapine increases dopamine release in the prefrontal cortex. Accordingly, it was shown that by blocking the alpha-2 adrenergic receptors and 5-HT2C receptors mirtazapine disinhibited dopamine and norepinephrine activity in these areas in rats. In addition, mirtazapine's antagonism of 5-HT2A receptors has beneficial effects on anxiety, sleep and appetite, as well as sexual function regarding the latter receptor. Mirtazapine has been shown to lower drug-seeking behavior in various human and animal studies. It is also being investigated in substance abuse disorders to reduce withdrawal effects and improve remission rates. Antagonism of the 5-HT3 receptor, an action mirtazapine shares with the approved antiemetic on Dancitron, significantly improves pre-existing symptoms of nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and irritable bowel syndrome in afflicted individuals. Mirtazapine may be used as an inexpensive antiemetic alternative to ondansetron. Blockade of the 5-HT3 receptors has also shown to improve anxiety and to be effective in the treatment of drug addiction in several studies. In conjunction with substance abuse counseling, Mirtazapine has been investigated for the purpose of reducing methamphetamine use in dependent individuals with success. In contrast to mirtazapine, the SSRIs, SNRIs, MAUIs, 
and some gas increase the general activity of the 5-HT2A, 5-HT2C and 5-HT3 receptors leading to a host of negative changes and side effects, the most prominent of which including anorexia, insomnia, sexual dysfunction, nausea and diarrhea, among others. As a result, it is often combined with these drugs to reduce their side effect profile and to produce a stronger antidepressant effect. Mirtazapine does not have serotonergic activity and does not cause serotonergic side effects or serotonin syndrome. This is in accordance with the fact that it is not a serotonin reuptake inhibitor or MAUI, nor a serotonin receptor agonist. There are no reports of serotonin syndrome in association with mirtazapine alone, and mirtazapine has not been found to cause serotonin syndrome in overdose. However, there are a handful of case reports of serotonin syndrome occurring with mirtazapine in combination with serotonergic drugs like SSRIs, although such reports are unusual, very rare, and do not necessarily implicate mirtazapine as causative. The addition of mirtazapine to in Maui does not cause serotonin syndrome, and has been considered to be a safe combination. Moreover, mirtazapine may actually be useful in the treatment of serotonin syndrome with at least one publication finding it to be effective in resolving the syndrome this is in accordance with the fact that the 5-ht2a receptor is the predominant serotonin receptor thought to be involved in the pathophysiology of serotonin syndrome mirtazapine is a potent 5-ht2a receptor antagonist and cyproheptadine, a drug that shares this property, mediates recovery from serotonin syndrome and is well established clinically as an antidote against it. Mirtazapine is a very strong H1 receptor inverse agonist and, as a result, it can cause powerful sedative and hypnotic effects. A single 15 mg dose of mirtazapine to healthy volunteers has been found to result in over 80% occupancy of the H1 receptor and to induce intense sleepiness. After a short period of chronic treatment, however, the H1 receptor tends to desensitize and the antihistamine effects become more tolerable. Many patients may also dose at night to avoid the effects and this appears to be an effective strategy for combating them. Blockade of the H1 receptor may improve pre-existing allergies, pruritus, nausea, and insomnia in afflicted individuals. It may also contribute to weight gain, however. In contrast to the H1 receptor, mirtazapine has only low affinity for the muscarinic acetylcholine receptors, although anticholinergic side effects like dry mouth, constipation, and medriasis are still sometimes seen in clinical practice. The oral bioavailability of mirtazapine is about 50%. It is found mostly bound to plasma proteins, about 85%. It is metabolized primarily in the liver by demethylation and hydroxylation via cytochrome P450 enzymes. One of its major metabolites is dismethylmirtazapine. The overall elimination half-life is 20-40 hours. About 15% is eliminated in feces and 75% in urine, 430. Mirtazapine was first synthesized at Organon and published in 1989 was first approved for use in major depressive disorder in the Netherlands in 1994, and was introduced in the United States in 1996 under the brand name Remeron, 429. Sleep apnea slash hyponia, inappropriate sexual behavior and other secondary symptoms of autistic spectrum conditions and other pervasive developmental disorders, Antipsychotic-induced akathisia, drug withdrawal, dependence, and detoxification, negative, depressive, and cognitive symptoms of schizophrenia, 
a case report has been published in which mirtazapine reduced visual hallucinations in a patient with Parkinson's disease psychosis. This is in alignment with recent findings that inverse agonists at the 5-HT2A receptors are efficacious in attenuating the symptoms of Parkinson's disease psychosis. As is supported by the common practice of prescribing low-dose quishapine and clozapine for PDP at doses too low to antagonize the D2 receptor, but sufficiently high doses to inversely agonize the 5-HT2A receptors, eight case reports have been reported in five papers on the use of mirtazapine in the treatment of hives as of 2017. Mirtazapine is the English and French generic name of the drug and it's in, USIN, USP, BAN, DCF, and JAN. Its generic name in Spanish is Mirtazapinia, in German is Mirtazapin, and in Latin is Mirtazapinum. Mirtazapine is marketed under many brand names worldwide, including Adco Mirtaron, Afloyan, Amiral, Arantapin Smelt, Avanza, Azapin, Baron, Billens, Calixta, Sibulx, Comber, Cominter, Depriram, Deveril, Espritol, Maz, Menalat, Meprazapine, Merdatin, Moronin, Meerning, Malivin, Minalza, Minivain, Myristad, Merazep, Miro, Myron, Murader, Mert, Myrda, Myrdabani, Myrdadepi, Myrdagama, Myrdagen, Myrdalan, Myrdamor, Myrdamilan, Myrdan, Myrtanio, Myrtopax, Myrtaple, Myrdapine, Myrdaron, Myrdastad, Myrtax, Myrtaz, Myrtazap, Myrtazapin, Myrtazapinia, Myrtazapine, Mertazapinum, Mertazlin, Mertazon, Mertazonal, Myrtle, Merti Mash, Merton, Merton, Mirzapine, Merzatin, Merzist, Mitoprex, Metaxined, Metocent, Mitrazin, Mizapin, Motofen, Mitra, Norset, Noxibal, Pharmataz, Promertil, Ramir, Redipra, Reflex, Remergil, Remergan, Remeron, Remirda, Rexer, Saxib, Sinmarin, Smilin, Tezapin, Tazemd, Tetrazic, Tifona, Umerderon, Uzapine, Valdrin, Vastat, Valorin, Yarison, Zania, Zapex, Zestat, Zismert, Zispin, Zoleptin, and Zulin. Mirtazapine is a tetracyclic piperazinoazepin. Mianceran was developed by the same team of organic chemists, and mirtazapine differs from it via addition of a nitrogen atom in one of the rings. 429 It is a racemic mixture of enantiomers. The enantiomer is known as S mirtazapine. Analogues of mirtazapine include mianceran, cetiptaline, and aptazapine. A chemical synthesis of mirtazapine has been published. The use of mirtazapine has been explored in several additional conditions. Mirtazapine is sometimes prescribed as an appetite stimulant for cats or dogs experiencing anorexia due to medical conditions such as chronic kidney disease. It is especially useful for treating combined poor appetite and nausea in cats and dogs.